guys. Welcome back for Tech Tip Tuesday. Today we are going to be talking about the Save to Google Drive extension, which is super fabulous. Yes. Yes. It saves any web page to your Google Drive as an image or a Google Doc, right? Yes. But I love it because it's not just a screenshot. It actually scrolls down and screenshots the entire page. Google magic. Woo woo. Yep. So first, where do we get these extensions? Oh my goodness, from the Google Chrome Web Store. Exactly. But today, okay, go ahead. What? And then I'll say what today is. Today's a special day. It is. It's it's a weird, weird of the day. It's a chocolate mint day. Woot woot. So yum, yum. we want to save this wonderful article to our Google Drive, right? Yep. So we can look at it later. Here's the extension. Yep. It's already there. Yep. Before we start, let's look at some options. So I'm going to right click. Yep. Options. First and foremost, we need to pick a location. I'm okay with all of my little saves going to the main level of Google Drive, but you may want to create your own folder so that your saves go into that folder and then you can put them where you need to. It's up to you. I like it too. I think it's the best place to save them because you never know what kind of content you're going to be saving. So Yeah, and exactly because it's in Drive, after it's there, you can move, move it. it. Yeah. yeah. Um, second part is you want to select your output type. Yep. First two options are to save as pictures, PNGs. I like the first option because it's the entire page the versus the second option is just the visible part, the part you're seeing. Yeah. If you wanted that, you can just use the snipping tool. Exactly. And then the very last option also says Google Documents. So this one will convert straight to a Google document for you. can be used if you are um, looking at a PNG, I mean a PDF, sorry, that has um, a web address to it. Um... Any other options I could use it for? I mean, it's a great thing. It just... It comes out a little wonky. It's a little crazy sometimes. It kind of does what it wants. The layout's a little funny, but it still gives you the content. So. Exactly. And because it's in a Google Doc, you can then go back and edit it to meet your needs. Yes. So that's nice as well. Yep. Okay. So we have our selections done. I'm going to go ahead and close that. And we're ready to save. Save that. That looks delicious. Just click. One click. Yep. Notice it scrolls, scrolls down. A pop-up box will come up every time, and you have a couple more options here. From here, you can look at the option, the op, that thing that you make. <laughs> the image. Okay. The image that we saved. <laughs> okay. Right here, you can look at the image that we saved. Mm -hmm. um, you can check out its location. It was saved to our main level of drive. You can change that if you want to without even having to open your drive. Or you can rename it if you want to call it something else. Or if you do it by accident, decide you don't really want to save this, you can save it or uh, send it to your trash. Exactly. When if you're done, go ahead. Done. When you're done, press close. Woo woo. It's and going there. to be in Drive. I think we might now have three versions of this, Maybe. which is fine. But let me scroll down. Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. So when I double click, notice it's a nice little picture that I can now share out with my students through Google Classroom. Yep. Um, the reason why I really like this is sometimes we come across great articles that are on websites that may not be appropriate for school. So um, at home or on a teacher machine at school, I can use the Save to Drive extension to save that article. And then the students are only looking at an image of the article. It's static. So they can't click on anything. They're not going to a blocked website or anything like that. So static image, they can still get the content. Yeah. Now, sometimes this is a little long, depending on how long the web page is. That's okay. There's a plus sign um, and a magnifying glass at the bottom. You can zoom in. You can zoom out. It'll clear up in a second. Um, and it's easier to see that way. And you don't have the little clickers, like Brooke said. And y'all, that's it. Yeah. Simple. Just a click. You have a saved web page into your Google Drive. It's amazing. Yep. So if you have any suggestions for our future tech tips, where can they go? They can go to tinyurl.com forward slash TTT request. Send them to us. We'll try to get those covered for you guys. Have a great day. Bye go guys. eat some chocolate mints. Yes.